Here is your Viscount. You dare? You are starting a war! Look at you. Like fat doth Russy, you feed and feed and complain only when your meal is interrupted. You do not look up. You do not see that the grass is bare. All you leave in your wake is misery. You are blind. I will make you see. But we have guests. Sinead on, Hawk. I expected you. But for all your might, you are no different from these bars. You do not see. This madness must end. Perhaps. Prove yourself, Basra, or kneel with your brethren. city commands such respect. So tell me, Hawk, you know I cannot withdraw. How would you resolve this conflict? There's only one way this ends. I agree. Arisha Kost, Kunanam Ebrato. You have granted this man Basilit Ang. By this admission, he now has the right to challenge you. You know our ways. I know that respect is hard won, but it also earns privilege. What say you, Hawk? Do you agree to a duel? Anything special I should know. We fight to the death, you and I alone. Kill me and the duty that binds me is ended. The others will return to Parvolan. And if you kill me... Then you are dead. To the death, Arishak. Marathas! So shall it be! Ugh! <laughs> 
It's over. The city has been saved! You seem confused, Seeker. The champion killed the Arashok in single combat? It just sounds so... romantic. Hmm. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're developing a little crush. Don't be ridiculous. The champion just seems very... heroic in your tale. Mm-hmm. If you're telling the truth. If you are, then... What happened at the gallows may be far different than we assumed. I need to hear it. Let's say I tell you. Then what? 
Is the Chantry out for revenge? Is that what this is all about? No, it's not that. Then what about me? If what I tell you isn't what you want to hear, will you still let me go? I will let you go. Well, now we're talking. None of this is what I thought it would be. Tell me what really happened. Champion of Kirkwall. That was the reward. <laughs> A fine title. Every noble at the Keep owed the Champion their lives. He wasn't just a hero. He was now the most important person in the city. Except for Knight Commander Meredith, of course. With the Viscount dead, she stepped in to keep order. Things quickly got out of hand. The more she squeezed the mages, the more they resisted. The more they resisted, the tighter she squeezed. After three years of that, it all came crashing down. I know you fear us! Knight Commander Meredith uses that fear to take control of your city. She opposes every effort to replace Viscount Dumar. And you have seen the chaos of her reign. Will you allow it? Return to your homes. This farce is over. Wait! Perhaps there are some who might disagree with you, Knight Commander. Do not hide behind the champion. He has no role in this. I don't need anyone speaking for me, Knight Commander. Is that so? I think the champion's views would be appreciated. Or do you fear what he has to say? I fear nothing. My only interest here is in keeping order and protecting the innocent. What are you trying to do here? Cause a rebellion? The people of this city need to know what is really happening. And then what? They tear down the gallows with pitchforks and torches? That would be better? It cannot be worse. Your refusal to listen to reason leaves me no choice. What I refuse to listen to are excuses. Perhaps you are ill fit to your position if you cannot understand this. You're hardly receptive to whatever gets in your way. And I become less receptive each moment this nonsense continues. Your measures have become more extreme over the last three years. And you could do better? How well did you guard your own mother? Did she not die at a blood mage's hands? Leave my mother out of this. Cold corpses speak louder than abstract freedoms, do they not? As long as that's true, Kirkwall needs its Templars more than it needs a new ruler. And when will that end? When will you stop seeing evil in every corner? When it's no longer there. You've gone too far, Meredith. Face the truth, Knight Commander. You are done. That is for me to decide. No one else. My, my. Such a terrible commotion. This mage incites rebellion, Your Grace. I am dealing with the matter. Ah, Orsino. So frustrated. Do you think this is truly wise? I... No, Your Grace. Of course not. Young men, would you show the first enchanter back to the circle? Gently, if you please. Your Grace! He should be clapped in irons! Made an example of! That's enough, Meredith. This 
It means us all. Surely you can see that. Go back to the gallows and calm down, like a good girl. You have my thanks for stepping in, champion. If you had not... You're the Grand Cleric. Aren't you in charge of the Templars and Circle? Oh, my. You have quite the estimation of my abilities. Gentle people of Kirkwall, return to your homes, I implore you. This will not be solved today. And now I must attend to the gallows. They will see reason if the Maker wills it. Thank you again, Champion. All quiet around here, Captain. Good. I suppose you're just thrilled how the Knight Commander's basically stepped into the Viscount's seat. She can't stall the process forever. It's not her place. Leaving the Viscount's seat empty will just tempt people to fight for it. It will cause more trouble than it prevents. Well, you've got a brain in there after all. I was convinced that headband was to keep it from falling out. 
Many Canari fell in Kirkwall when we departed. I am sent to gather their swords. If you find a Canari sword, return it to me. Don't you want their bodies, too? Their husks serve no purpose. The weapons shall satisfy a demand of the Kuhn. I'll keep an eye out. You will find me here. All quiet around here, Captain. Good. Carry on. Clothing! Catastrophe has struck, partner. We are ruined. Ruined. Don't panic. Tell me what happened. A guard came back from the boon pit, half wrecked, with a dozen mangled bodies. The horse pulling the cart was the only survivor, and it does not speak. Town full of rotten mages, and not one can get answers from a horse. I'll see what's going on. Until then, try to stay calm. I knew I could depend on you. Just like old times, partner. High town is lovely this time. Master Hawk, I must speak with you. You're the only one that can help. The Wardens mounted an expedition to retrace your route through the deep roads to discover whatever it is you found years ago. It's a fool's errand, and my poor brother is with them. Nathaniel Howe. Nathaniel? Well, put me in a dress and call me a Templar. How is the old boy doing? He's missing, Sarah. Haven't you been listening? I'm not worried about Nathaniel. He's crawled out of worse places alive. I take it you and Nathaniel have some history? Certainly. We were in the Wardens together in Amaranthine. Hordes of Darkspawn, psychotic broodmothers, usual Warden business. I wonder if Nathaniel ever found a sense of humor. Why were Wardens interested in our expedition? Maker, help me. I have no idea. My brother never tells me these things. Wardens range into the deep roads all the time. But he's been gone far too long. Something terrible has happened. I tell the Wardens, but by the time I reach Vigil's Keep... My poor brother... Do you know any other details? I know almost nothing. Nathaniel never speaks about the Wardens. It was only happenstance that I heard your name mentioned. Please, go back to the deep roads. Find my brother. You must. Of course. Andraste's grace be with you. May the Maker forgive you. Champion of Kirkwall, your reputation precedes you. Forgive me, I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lanos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. Is there something I can help you with? I've come to you in search of aid. An elven assassin I have been chasing is loose in the area. Unfortunately, he's hidden himself among the local Dalish, no doubt playing on their shared heritage. He's a master manipulator, who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival. You don't seem the type to hunt assassins. Why are you after him? At first, it was merely a duty to Antiva. But after losing so many good men to him, it became personal. He's nothing but a murderer, a thief, and a liar. 
Your assassin is no fool. I doubt the Dalish would hand a fellow elf over to you, murderer or no. Ah, so you see my problem. Where that elf goes, death follows. He must be captured quickly. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. I'll see what I can do. One of the Dalish, a woman named Variel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there.